The Netflix Mysteries, DuPont Family Case. One of the scary stories on the unsolved mysteries on Netflix is about Count Xavier Dupont de Ligonnet and his family. They seemed like a happy and respected family, but they disappeared and were found dead in their house. They had been drugged and shot while they slept. Even their dogs were killed and buried with them. Police are investigating Xavier Dupont de Ligonnès, suspected of killing his wife and children in 2011 before disappearing. After 13 years on the run, recent sightings in eastern France have reignited the search. Authorities have questioned individuals at a religious convent where he may have sought refuge. The investigation is ongoing as police continue to pursue leads and gather evidence in an effort to bring closure to the tragic case. What do the reports say? Authorities in Besançon are treating a reported sighting of the fugitive seriously and are conducting tests on cans believed to have been used by the man. The sighting occurred at a religious ceremony in a convent where a woman claimed to have seen the individual. Another woman also expressed suspicions about his presence. The man, who identified himself as Jean and lacked any form of identification, stayed at the convent for two nights. However, after interviewing seven members of the community, four stated that they did not believe the man resembled the wanted suspect, while three were uncertain. The investigation is ongoing as authorities work to verify the accuracy of the reported sighting and gather more information about the man known as Jean. People keep telling the police they've seen Mr. Dupont de Ligonnet, but most of these reports don't hold up because they're from far away and don't have much proof. The public prosecutor in Nantes said they've looked into over 1,750 of these reports from all over, but usually, it's just someone who looks a bit like him, not actually him. No leads? The murders of a normal family in France were very surprising and got a lot of attention, but even though they searched a lot, they couldn't find the person they thought did it, Dupont de Ligonnet. He seemed to send a picture of his sons to a journalist with a message saying he was still alive. The journalist provided the police with the photo for analysis of handwriting, DNA, and fingerprints. The prosecutor overseeing the case has not reported any new developments. The investigation continues as authorities work to uncover more information related to the evidence presented. The investigation. The search for Xavier Dupont de Ligona continues as police follow up on leads and reports. In 2019, a man was arrested in Scotland who was initially believed to be Dupont, but DNA tests proved otherwise, identifying him as a retiree named Guy Joao. This false alarm highlighted the challenges of tracking down a fugitive who has been on the run for several years. Additionally, in 2018, Another potential lead emerged when a monk at a monastery in France was said to bear a resemblance to him. These instances illustrate the international scope of the search, as authorities remain vigilant and committed to pursuing any credible information that may lead to the capture of Dupont. The police went to a monastery to look for a man who looked like the suspect. The monks at the monastery don't usually talk, so it was hard for the police to ask questions. The police thought the suspect might use this to hide, but when they checked, the man at the monastery just looked similar from far away. They took this tip seriously because the suspect was last seen in the VAR department in 2011. There was a video of him taking money out of a cash machine, and he used to go on holiday in VAR when he was a kid.